Welcome to Get Offset. My name is Emily, and you're looking so cute today. It's downright spooky, hauntingly beautiful. <laughs> uh, I'm here today with the Recovery Effects Ghost Writer, and this isn't like a normal pedal at all. Just, just completely. <laughs> this does not have any effects built into it. It's more like an interface, but what it does is it converts the signal from your guitar or other stringed instruments into a MIDI signal. So you can use that to play through synthesizers or in the case of this video, through the MIDI effects in your DAW. So I'm gonna be using Studio One, but first let's talk about the Ghost Writer. So you have the sensitivity knob here at the top. I do not recommend immediately cranking that. Instead, I recommend starting it with it very low and then turning it until you get that sweet spot that you're looking for. When I had the sensitivity up all the way, I was hitting like ghost notes for lack of a better phrase. Um, so the tracking wasn't perfect, but there you go. Um, next we have glide on or off. This adds a slight portmanteau to your notes. I'm probably not going to use that, but it's apparently great for like bends and stuff like that. Um, again, I just haven't used it. Finally, we have two foot switches. We have audio and that's a through signal for your guitar. So you can record or play through um, just a standard guitar sound in addition to a MIDI sound which is really cool, and that's what this is. So this converts through MIDI right there. This goes to your other pedals or your signal chain. So I am probably gonna use both at the same time for a bit of this video. But let me uh, open up Studio One here and I can talk about the setup. So this is Studio One. <laughs> And as you can see, I already have some tracks built out that's just for speed. So I have uh, some instruments up here, the Ghost Rider pad, lead piano, I have the sounds all set up and I have two guitar tracks. But I wanna show you really quickly how this um, setup works. So I just went to add device and I said recovery effects, ghost writer, all MIDI channels receiving from my MIDI in, and I didn't select the anything else. So I'm gonna remove that because that was an accident. And here is my ghost writer. I'm not sure why it says not connected, but it is. So I'm gonna go and turn on recording and monitoring. So if you play Studio One, and you have, I believe, at least artist version, maybe even lower, you have a ton of effects within presence. So I've already pre-selected some, but the cool thing about using MIDI is that one, you can, of course, fine tune all this stuff just the way you like it, but if you decide later you don't like it, you can you can just change it. It's not a not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Okay, so I'm going to um, do a little cover of a song I like by a band called Charlie Bliss called Capacity. So I'm going to grab my Music Man Cutlass HT that I'm borrowing and lay this stuff down and kind of show you what it looks like. <laughs> All right, well, that went really well. Um, I don't have a ton of notes on my on what I did. I could quantize this a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna show you one quick little thing that I've noticed happens. Sometimes you have this little false start here. And you can't usually hear it, but if you go to quantize, it's not ideal. Yeah, so it's only gonna play that first little blip, which is essentially nothing in this case. So if you do go to quantize, you're gonna to wanna to remove those little blips first. And then we can quantize. 
Or if you think you're playing is tight enough, you just, you simply don't have to do that. All right, so I like this. Again, like there are a couple little things I would remove as I was going through and doing my fine, tune, fine tuning, but this is gonna work great for my purposes. Next, I have two tracks. I arm the guitar. And then I have my synth sound. I'm going to record both at the same time, but I'm only going to monitor the synthesizer. All right. All right, so let's take a look at this one. A little less sharp. I actually missed a note in here. So let's play it. <laughs> Of course, now you can hear both guitar part and synth part, and you can hear how well it tracks. See, there's where I missed it. So that went too long, but I the problem was I missed this note right here. So I'm just gonna copy that over. Yeah. The other thing I would do in this is I want to, well, I'm probably gonna quantize everything after I clean up any duplicate triggers. I thought that was actually really clean other than that missed note. So I'm going to quantize everything. Yeah, and later when y'all aren't watching, I am also going to just make sure these notes fill out the space. Because I, I was a little bit nervous about hitting that note just right. So I kind of split the difference and played a little bit shorter knowing that I could lengthen it. So there we go. Next, I have this little piano guitar part I want to record. So. see how that glide sounds. So if I don't have the glide on, it's not gonna bend up to another note, but if I do, <laughs> it's pretty fun. But I'm gonna go ahead and record that um, last part now. Again, I'm just going to monitor the um, synth. All right, well, let's go ahead and look and listen. Thank you. 
love the way that uh, last note held out there. Sorry, my hair got a little wonky while I was fixing, uh, while adjusting things. So that's a quick look at how I've been using the Ghost Writer to add MIDI stuff to my songs. I, It's... You know, the, the Studio One's uh, sound packs are fine. There are obviously much better sound packs out there. But being able to add those parts, move things around, um, ultimately in Studio One, you can, like, create charts. So, like, let me move back to over here. Like, you have, you can do charts of your songs. And you can provide these to people that you play with. So that, like, if you write a little horn part you use MIDI to do it, then you have this awesome little little chart here, similarly here, and there. It really opens myself as a guitarist up to uh, more elaborate um, productions, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to do that. I would have to tell somebody, hey, just uh, use your ear, but if I have the ability to be like, here's some actual sheet music or tabs or something for uh, someone I'm working with, maybe if I hire, if we hire a violinist or uh, a horn player, a cellist for a gig, I, I can just hand them the stuff that I recorded because I already know what I want it to sound like. And that's really, really fantastic. And again, just being able to use your guitar as a MIDI controller, which is something that you already have. I really believe that the Ghostwriter is an essential studio tool, especially home recording studio tool, for any guitarist who's also composing multiple parts. I love it. It 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 just works. And I, isn't it great when things just work? So yeah, thanks again to Recovery, Greg and Zara, uh, my friendly neighbors, for letting me play with the Ghost Rider for a while. I it's a game changer for sure. Um Check it out on their website. Always buy directly from independent builders when you can, please. But if there's anything else in the world that you want, I have affiliate links in the video description for Sweetwater, Reverb, and Perfect Circuit. Uh, that Perfect Circuit one was, would be uh, really great if you want to use the Ghost Rider to play with some really awesome synths. So again, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you're watching the premiere, there's still time to drop in a super chat if you feel like it. Um, if you wish you were watching the premiere, just uh, subscribe and ring that bell icon and um, tell your favorite brands about us. We have a Patreon at patreon.com slash get offset, a bunch of links in the video description. But yeah, once again, everybody out there, thanks for watching. Thanks for understanding. Until next time, my name is Emily. Goodbye.